Good morning, folks. Miami Beach audits here. What's happened to me about 5.30 in the morning, three Miami Beach police pulled up. They got out of their cars and they came over and they started talking to me, trying to offer me homeless services. I refused them. They tried to ID me, I wouldn't. Then they just got in their cars and left. Without IDing me, without making me leave. Although they told me I couldn't be hanging out here when they first arrived. I tried to show the video on a live stream 10 minutes after I shot it, but I couldn't get it to be rendered properly over the live stream. So I re-uploaded it here, properly edited, and enjoy. No, I don't need medical attention, thank you. Your hands are shaking, that's why I asked you. Do you have anywhere else to go? Normally go anywhere else? I can't hear you because of that engine. Do you go, and normally do you go anywhere else besides here? I come here to get on your Wi-Fi. But you know that you can do that. Think about the business owner. You can't just be here in front of the business. So. Well, it's a public sidewalk, isn't it? Technically, you're, you're uh, leaning against the, against the business, so, you know. This is the business entrance, next to their tables. So, you know. Alright. Um, just to let you know, we're going to be making contact with you often if you're choosing not to go to a shelter. Okay. Okay. I think uh, I think it's only fair to continue to offer it to you, given, especially given the fact that we have the uh, the kind of weather that we have in South Florida. Are you getting the angle good? I'm trying to. You're trying. You want me to like bend down for you? Is that a better angle for you? You sure? Okay. We're recording each other. I have nothing to hide. Yeah. Okay. So, we'll talk to you if you're willing to leave, you're not willing to leave, you're not willing to take shelter. Is that right? I didn't say I was not willing to leave. Okay, so are you willing to go somewhere else that's not in front of a business? Yeah, but when I want to. When, oh, when you want to. Yeah, I'm, I'm in a public place. I understand that. Okay. We're doing our job. The businesses are complaining that there are people in front of their businesses just hanging out like you are. And that is our job to make contact with the people that the businesses are complaining about. When, when the business is open, that, that's another thing. But if the business is closed, don't want people here when they get here to open. Okay? Right. So this I, guy comes in at seven o'clock in the morning. Okay, so have you made contact with him before? Yeah, he lets me charge my phone inside when he, he's open. So you have an arrangement with this business owner? This business owner lets me charge my phone in his business when he's open. Right, that's what I just asked you. You have an arrangement with this business owner? Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to contact our uh, homeless outreach unit. Okay. And um, I I actually want to be able to try to help you. So mm -hmm. I'm going to have them make contact with you. Is that okay? You have a phone. Is there a phone number that we can call you at? I don't have a working phone contract right now. You can connect to Wi-Fi? Yeah. So you have an email address? Yeah. Okay, so can we take your email address so that our homeless um, unit can call you and, and try to just help you out in whatever way possible? I think 555 already has my email address. Okay, well, I don't. And I want to be able to follow up with you to make sure that you're getting whatever it is that you need. So can I have it?
I don't think I have to give it to you. Uh, why, why do you need to have a way to contact me? I just told you, we have a homeless resource. I, I understand that. Am okay. I breaking any laws? You're not, you're not in trouble, sir. We're trying to help you. We're I'm trying, trying to, to help you. Why, why, why are you being so... Well, I didn't ask for help. <laughs> we're offering help because we, we, we obviously see this thing going on here and we're, we're trying to make sure that you're okay and that we can do whatever we can to make sure that you have the, the most comfortable life you can possibly have. You get what I'm saying? We're not, we're not here to get you in trouble, but that's not what we're here for. We're here to help you. You're not under arrest, you're not detained. We're just, we're just trying to get your information so that our homeless outreach officers can contact you and talk to you and kind of and let, let you know what you can do and what steps you can take so you don't have to be out here. You get what I'm saying? They have all my information. I've been there quite frequently for other services not to get shelter. Right now, I, I'm trying to get what I have to get done on this guy's Wi-Fi, and I'll be out of here. Okay. All right, what's your name? What's yours? Cerno, C-E-R-N-A is mine. What is your name? I don't have to identify if I'm not being detained. <laughs> he just told me I'm not being detained for anything. All right, listen, you're obviously very problematic. We're, we're just here trying to have a conversation with you, trying to help you with anything we can, and you're looking for, you're, you're looking to start a fight. So that's not what we're here for. I'm but not like, looking yeah, to yeah, start a fight. I know my rights and, you know. It's really difficult. It has nothing to do with your rights. You're being extremely difficult. We came here in a nice manner to speak to you, to try to get you help, and you're just not being cooperative, so it's fine. Enjoy the rest of your day. And they just got in their cars and left. They tried to get me an ID, but I wouldn't. They tried to ask for other personal info. I wouldn't give them any. It's now 7.30 in the morning. They haven't been back. It's the closest thing to a pass I've ever seen from Miami Beach police, but I can't consider it a pass because they approached me unsolicited and started to question me. If I'm sitting in public and I'm not bothering anyone and I'm not breaking any laws, I shouldn't be approached by a police officer. And when I let them know that I don't want them there, they should leave. Instead of standing there and delaying me for 15 minutes before finally taking off without taking any action and getting any information. Well, this plan to beach audits. That's it for another one. I'm out. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section because it helps the algorithm, and I'll see you on the next one.